there guys. So, another exciting watch for you guys to take a look at. This time we have the Bulliver 98A 186 Special Edition Moon Apollo Lunar Pilot watch. Uh, look, most watch fans are probably going to be aware of this watch. Uh, the all black version or the stealth version is very difficult to find. And here is the uh, original version. Uh, the only difference between the two, of, of course, apart from the state of the uh, the case finishes, is the uh, logo. As you can see on the stealth version, it is a little bit more in line with what the original watch looked like. Whereas this, uh, which is the older version, has the more modern Bulliver uh, logo attached to it. Uh, the only other thing that you can see, uh, whether you can 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 catch it straight away, is at the there or thereabouts, the four o'clock position. This one has a date. This one does not, and is truer to the original watch that was worn by Colonel Dave Scott on the Apollo fifteen mission. I give you a bit of background. So essentially, this watch uh, is from their archive series, and it is based on a watch that went up on the Apollo fifteen mission. So the story goes that uh, on the Apollo 15 mission, uh, Dave Scott was wearing his trusty Amiga Speedmaster, which most of you would know was the NASA official watch uh, for extravehicular activity and to be worn on um, the moon. The crystal popped off that watch and as a result, Colonel Dave Scott then put his boulevard on his wrist and wore that outside uh, on the moon. So this watch is basically, if you look at look at this watch as the Amiga Speedmaster alternative or the budget alternative, then this one is the dark side of the moon equivalent. Uh, again, it's beautiful black PVD finish, that raised sapphire crystal, and that great movement which uh, gives you almost like a mechanical sort of chronograph movement due to the 262 kilohertz movement within this watch. Uh, with it being an ultra high frequency quartz watch, it does have a very good accuracy. Some people are reporting there or there about 10 to 15 seconds accuracy per year. Uh, the measurements on the watch, they're actually no different to the, 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 the silver version, but we'll just go over those. So the case diameter is 45 mil and the thickness is 13.5. It comes on this beautiful leather strap, has a signed Bulliver clasp, which is again in line with what the original um, watch looked like. And that is a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on it. A warranty on the watch is three years. If you're in the market for a watch that is similar to the Speedmaster, uh, you don't have the cash for that. I mean, you know, you look at the dark side of the moon, that, I don't know off the top of my head, but I would guess that it's probably a fifteen, sixteen thousand $16,000 watch, probably more. Uh, this you can buy for about 600 bucks uh, from the guys at starbuy.com.au. And, you know, the value proposition is just outstanding. If you are a history buff and you have a special interest in space, um, or, you know, you are an Amiga Speedmaster owner, then this is a fantastic watch just to round out the collection. I've owned two or three Speedmasters over my uh, period of, as of being a watch collector, and the Bulliver is the only watch that I have kept. Uh, the Speedmasters have all gone and primarily because, you know, the, the price just keeps rising and rising. I think we're now up to about $8,000 for the standard Hesselite crystal version of a Speedmaster, probably more. Uh, and, you know, these watches can be picked up for 600 bucks there or thereabouts. And, yeah, you know what? They're not mechanical. They are quartz, and they are certainly, um, from a watchmaking perspective, not in the same park as Amiga, but they give you the feel. Their original watch has the lineage and the pedigree that the Amiga has, and, uh, you know, they're just really great bang for buck watches. And I think anybody even who, who does have a Speedmaster should buy one of these just to round out their collection. Um, anyway, guys, like I say, hope you enjoyed looking at this. Uh, there'll be plenty of photos and some close-up stuff for you to look at uh, throughout this video. But uh, way watches in the best of health, guys. Stay safe and see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.